El Segundo was a town that was created early 1900s by Standard Oil. They came here to uh, create a refinery, the second one in the state. It's definitely a worker town, a blue collar working town. We always took pride in industry and uh, just a hidden little area in the South Bay. A city that you can't walk across the street and be in another city. It's surrounded by industry. People drive around El Segundo, you don't drive through it. So it was a nice area to grow up and be creative. Well, I think the tough thing over the years for me when I was doing a lot of traveling, the surfing aspect, as long as I was surfing all the time, I was fine. Uh, but that downtime was frustrating because, uh, you know, if I'm not surfing, I would prefer to be working with my hands. I would say function. I mean, that's what I'm really focused on. It's got to look a certain way, but you can dress up your board. It's more about the guts and the function of the board rather than the artfulness of it, I guess. very get-go and building your first surfboard, you're creating feedback for yourself, so you want to apply that feedback. So that goes directly to the function aspect. Surfer-shaper relationship as far as customer goes, I enjoy that because um, being able to talk a customer through certain things about how the board's going to work and then also give them tips on how to really unlock the board's performance and kind of rewarding to see them light up and go, wow, I've never heard that or, you know, I, I never thought of that, but that makes total sense. I'm still learning about perfecting board building, but it's, it's kind of plateaued a little bit. There's just a slow incline. So I've, I've kind of fed my brain by getting into other things that I know less about, but require using my hands and kind of like shaping whether body work or metal work. I've got so much more to learn, so that learning curve is a lot steeper, which is keeping me stoked. It's inspiring me to get to the next level. And when I, I get stoked off of that, it allows me to go back into the surfing part of it and be just as stoked. So it's being creative regardless of what you're doing. My surfing's to a certain level and my board building skills are also to a certain level and so I have a history and a baseline years of experience that have, you know, get me to a certain point and then it's just making these modifications, these little tweaks. I'm not trying to create the perfect all-around board. I think you need a quiver, I think you need to look at different waves and, and decide which boards can work and then 
hopefully you have a board that works properly for each condition. Surfing's fun and there, there's different levels of ability. You don't worry about anybody else. You don't worry about what somebody else is riding or you just do your own thing and that's what surfing is anyway. It's an individual activity and your feeling is your feeling, your vision is your vision. And if, as long as you focus on that, then you're, you're golden. to keep my hands busy, that's definitely when I'm the happiest.